Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today I thought we'd take a look over at the playtest of Builder Simulator so we can all get a good look at this together. So I figured we'd also do the tutorial because this is one of those games where the tutorial is actually quite important, especially when you don't understand anything about building a house because it seems to be pretty accurate. <laughs> what? Hi, Bill. Welcome to the Builder Factory. You're probably wondering why you're in this place. It's just because the game designer wanted the level to be small. Okay. My name is Bill Dern, and today I'm going to be your worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Guide through the game mechanics. Let's start with the basics. Follow me. You know what to press, don't you? Yeah, I'm waiting for you, boss. Let's go. The tool wheel is available under the scroll or under the, the scroll. Oh, okay. Look at all these. That's right pretty neat. Now, under the Q key, you'll always have a task list available regardless of the game mode. As soon as you move the controller, the game swaps the controls to it. This way you'll never get lost. Fantastic! My maker always said that everything needs a solid base. Let's start with foundation. All right. Select a shovel from the tool wheel and dig the area for foundations. Dig, so, all right. So we can, okay, cool. I don't have to wait for the uh, animation to, to kind of stop. You can just kind of keep clicking. As long as your clicker finger can keep up with your movement here, you're pretty good to just go. All right, what's this stuff? Okay. Good job. Choose the first store available. Now on the left is a list of available categories according to the stage of construction. You can change the number of items you want to buy to 1, 10, or 100. Buy 100 formworks and reinforcements. Jesus. Okay. Great job. Did you know that by holding down the left mouse button or the right trigger on the gamepad, you can Oh, that's neat. That looks really cool too, actually. Did I do that too fast? Oh, yep, I did. Beautiful. Okay, so you can kind of just drive it around like this, I guess. And because it's a tutorial, the amount the amount of concrete's not going down. Okay. Easy peasy. Pretty decent so far. I kind of like a lot of this. It feels good. It feels fluid. It looks pretty decent so far, honestly. And it feels accurate. You know, to a noob like, oh, geez, that, I guess I missed some spots over here. Oh, I can kind of do this a little further away too. There we go. I'll see you at the concrete mixer in a bit. Hey, All right, hey. next tutorial. Wonder why it like restarts us like this. That's weird. Why doesn't it just let us keep building? Okay, builder. Well, all right then. I guess. <laughs> that answered my question. All right, you sassy bitch. Two types of mixes. Mortar and concrete. All right. Mortar is needed to join the blocks. Concrete on the other hand is used for foundations. Yep. Yep. Let's start by turning on the concrete mixer. All right. You will lose 1 dollar for each second you leave the concrete mixer on. Why? So make it quick and effective. All the ingredients you need can be found around the concrete mixer. All right. Above the concrete mixer, there are the ingredients you need to create. Wait, why is mortar Start with the sand. selected? Put some in. All 
I'm curious as to why mortar is selected when it's telling us we're making concrete, but okay. It's fine. The, the game knows what it's doing. I don't. That's why we're here. That's neat. Okay. Okay. Water. Oh. Oh, okay. Oops. Okay, I just keep buckets of water in my pocket. That's fine with me. Alright, so we gotta have this running in order to put the stuff in it. And I don't know if we're making concrete or mortar, honestly. Okay. the money dropping that's actually pretty nice honestly I love the animation of this guy. Okay. Alright, next stage it is. Thanks, boss. Next tutorial. I really don't get why I keep separating us like this. What the hell's a screed? I'm learning something new today. I'm gonna learn what a concrete screed is. Every builder needs a proper concrete screed. Yep, guess so. Let's continue with what we've prepared at the first stage. Yeah, this is what I've done. Get your shovel and dig the ground. Okay. Shovel. So we're just oh, okay, I can just hold this too. Neat. I appreciate how many like automatic things there are in this. Or not like automatic, but like semi-automatic. Next up, you need a sand. Okay, so we dig that up, then we put sand down. Either by the shovel or by the wheelbarrow. Let's do the by the wheelbarrow the then. And pick up some sand with your shovel. Then place it in the floor. Nice. The second way is to pour sand from a wheelbarrow. Try putting some sand in the wheelbarrow. I wanted to put Great. more, but Oh, wait, now can I? Now, there we go. By the sand over the concrete screen. Can I go past 100? No. What type of construction are dogs good at? Roofing! Oh, God. So it keeps pouring even when it's not using, but wow, this is much more effective, though. Good job! Now we have to buy some reinforcements. All right. Reinforcements. Grid reinforcements. Okay. Oh, poured out. Oh, grid reinforcements. Okay. Now place them on the foil. I mean, it's not really foil, right? This one I have to click continuously, but it's another one where it's like you don't have to wait for the animations to finish. Okay. Now it's time for concrete. Now it's time for concrete. You already have it waiting in the wheelbarrow. Well, thank you. I love cheating. <laughs> if this is what it means to cheat, sure. And this concrete's unlimited, even. Oh, it's like, okay, it doesn't fully... It, it fills up slowly, so I need to, like, you know, be a little cautious with this. Like, that one's not quite done. There we go. Something's missing. There we go. Yeah, this was pretty scary. It wasn't even working properly, but no one noticed. Now, every building needs an insulation. 
Uh, I'm quite enjoying all this banter here. <laughs> Alright, 30 floor insulations. Okay. Thirty floor insulations, checker Rooney. I don't know what a floor insulation is, but I'm in. Use a wheelbarrow and pour out the final concrete layer. Okay, another concrete layer. Not bad. I can just kind of like angle this a bit and just get a couple spots in at one time. That's it. Cool. Now you're done with the concrete screen loop. It'll so that's a screen. Okay. Better and better warning from now on. Will it? Simulators must reflect reality, but we have prepared a lot of interesting solutions for you that will speed up your work considerably. Like laborers? Oh, we're done again. <laughs> Next tutorial. What do you got for me, boss? Let's build the house. Come on. After a while, crocodile. Oh boy. It's time for the load bearing walls. Quickly. To the Batmobile uh, training room. <laughs> I'll take you through it on the way. I, I gotta hand it to the devs. They they have made this tutorial quite interesting. <laughs> and builders quite great. Hey, did they start my walls? Trust me, it's the most rewarding part of the construction. Is it? You'll see the effects immediately. Huh. You'll need to get hollow blocks. Uh, a hundred hollow blocks, okay. One hundred of them now. Fantastic. Now it's okay. time to pick up mortar. You can oh. find it in the wheelbarrow. Use a trowel to get some Find mortar. Okay. Oh, that's nice. That way you don't have to go back and forth. That's pretty handy. We're taking notes from the last demo, huh? <laughs> I didn't play the last demo, so. Leveling system that allows you to build houses faster the more you build them. Try it out by placing the first hollow block. Use the trowel to lay the mortar on the hollow block. Great. Now place the hollow block on it. Okay. Yep, we did it. Someone would level up from the first hollow block. Now you've unlocked double hollow block placement. Give it a try. <laughs> you leveled up uh -huh. again. Oh, you know what? Maybe this was in the demo. It just feels different. Like when I last played, we were just building like igloos and shit. All right. Scaffolding will be very helpful when working at heights. Select a scaffolding from the tool wheel. Oh. You can rotate it by clicking the right mouse button or left trigger. And not only that, you can also move it very precisely with the scroll wheel. Good work. Okay. You can climb the ladder by clicking on it. I'll tell you a secret. The twelfth layer is the lintel layer. Never heard of it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Transfer the weight from the opening to the adjacent walls. Okay. Above every doors and windows, you need to place one. Buy one lintel from the shop. Okay. Uh, buy a lintel. Okay. So we need these above any door and wall. Oh, Jesus. They've already built a lot of this for me. Okay. Okay. Part of the walls is to set the ceiling when you reach the right height. Ceiling holograms will automatically appear when you fill in the blocks on the last layer. And this is the moment when you have to place the ceiling blocks. 
buy 20 ceiling blocks from the shop. Yes, sir. We already did. Someone oh. save the sky's the limit. But for us, it's ceiling blocks on each level. <laughs> Enough dad jokes. All right, so another one where you can just click. I can't wait to see like the kind of houses you could build with all this. This is pretty neat. Welcome back. Thank you. you. Learn more? Yeah, I actually, yeah, <laughs> I actually am. Doors and oh, perfect. I need to learn how to do this at my own house. Ooh, it's open. Nope, never mind. They tricked me. Go on, builder. What you got for me? Can I block you? Not really. And windows to bring light into the house. Okay. Our game is no different. Buy an exterior door. Remember from the previous stage when you inserted the lintels? You don't have to do it this time. But you need to know that they are the reason we can put in doors and windows. Let's start with doors. Buy one outside door. Great. Okay. Select it from the inventory and look at the entrance of the house. You may notice that the door is in the wrong position. Adjust it using the scroll bar. I already did that, sir. Hologram will turn green when it's done. Yep, done. We need to put these screws in, it looks like. And we'll show you the correct position when the door lights up green. Great job. Thank you. Now you have to screw in the hinges. Yep. Choose a drill and insert the necessary screws. All the screws that need to be screwed in always light up orange. Imagine using a screwdriver. Now it's time for wedges. Simply what are these for? By clicking on the highlighted areas. Now you know how to insert a door. You can even open and close them by clicking on them. <laughs> I, I had to try it. We'll talk about it later. I'm going to spray insulation foam. Uh -huh. All right, buy a window. Types of windows. Any window under two meters on the planner is a standard home window. Likewise, any window over two meters is already a patio window. You dictate the terms on the planner and choose what size windows you want to insert. For the purposes of the tutorial, you will insert a single window. I entered three buy single ones. From the shop. Already did. Nicely done. Now try inserting them just like a door. Yep, we did. Can I screw these same in? Principle, same fun. Hello, now sir. It's time to put in all sir. The screws you need. Thank you. Hey, hey, I'm getting rusty. Oh, you can stay rusty over there, chap. The Alright, put our wedges in. I don't really get what these wedges are for, though. Yeah, I did. We thought that doing it manually would be boring, so we automated it. It would be a bit boring. That every window requires a sill or threshold. Adjust it like you did with window and door. Oh, we gotta we gotta go outside for this one. Okay. Great. Look at the patio window next to you. Hello. You can see the difference. That's everything for doors and windows. Can I open it? No. Remember, you decide how you want your house to look. Interesting. I'm not very creative, so this will be uh, interesting to see us actually play this game, huh? See what kind of houses we can build once we learn how to build. Hello, builder. I missed you. Mwah. Sure, your neighbors love you, Bill. Just as much as we love you. I'm gonna 
to beat you inside this time. Come on. Aha! Separate rooms from each other and should therefore have the best possible sound insulation properties. I buy a hundred profiles. Plasterboard wall. Of course, okay. you have to mark them on the planner first. But for the purpose of the tutorial on the partition walls themselves, we've already determined them. You're welcome. To build a wall, you need floor, ceiling, and wall profiles. Oh, we've got the ceiling profiles. profiles I bought a hundred. I used two. Great. All set. Okay. Now we have something Let's buy some plasterboard. Isn't that amazing? Buy 100 plasterboard. Okay. Well done. Screw these in. Why'd we only do one side, though? Oh, now we're going to put more. Nope, maybe not. I'm missing a screw. Oh, there it is. Found you. Okay, let's buy some rock wall. I don't know what that is. Oh, so I'm doing plaster, insulation, and then plaster. Okay, that makes sense. Select it from the inventory and insert it in the missing places. Lovely. Attach one more plaster board on the other side. We're done. This is how partition walls are insulated. Okay. The profiles must be fixed to the floors and ceiling, and the plaster boards to the profiles. Yep, makes sense. Thank you. Also, a second type of partition wall. Concrete partition walls. Okay. Assembly is very different. I figured. First, you need to lay a damp proof course by 20 insulation. Uh, okay. If we now place it on the ground. Good job. Remember what you've done with bearing <coughs> walls? Pick mortar. You okay. Need some in the wheelbarrow. Once the mortar has been collected on the trowel, it remains until you've exhausted the stock in the wheelbarrow. Pretty cool, right? It took our game designers way too long to figure out this solution. <laughs> I love how self-depreciating this tutorial mortar. is. Everything's ready for concrete blocks. Don't forget the lintel over the door. Buy 100 concrete blocks and one lintel. You won't need as much, but you never know when inflation will get to the DIY markets. Build a concrete partition wall. Hey, that's a mini game. No, it doesn't let you click it. Oops this one okay what am i supposed to oh okay it wasn't like letting me get those before okay travel gotta get used to like switching to the trowel I think we got it. Build our walls. Beautiful. And then we got our lintel. And then trowel. Oh, concrete blocks on five now. Okay. Work. One more fun thing is that you can destroy them. What? Get out of here. First, you have to mark with an eraser which wall you 
robots and destroy it on the planner. This time I'll do it for you automatically. Oh my god. That was pretty good. That was actually pretty satisfying. <laughs> Don't like a wall? Destroy it. Oi, my fellow builder. Well, hello, builder. What goes up and down? What stays in the same place? Stairs. <laughs> God Oi. damn it, Bill. God damn it. All right. You can build any shape of house. Oh. You can build a house you to. Alright. But to get to the floor of your house, you need stairs. In some cases, a no clip is sufficient, but this is only in creative mode. This stage will be simple, but maximally rewarding. Five stairs accomplished. The shot. Great. Now select them in your inventory and place them where you've marked them on the planner. Yep, already the done. Scroll wheel, you can precisely move the stairs to the right and left. Yep, Amazing. thank you. Hmm, the more I look at them, I think they don't fit. As I am not annoying at all, I will pretend to be your favorite customer. Who does not know what he likes. You need to change them. I already destroyed them, boss. Don't tell me twice. <laughs> nice. Now buy different stairs in the shop. You're quick. Place the stairs again. See how simple and satisfying it is? In this way, you're able to test different solutions immediately without having to monotonously build up the entire structure. Thank you. We want you to have fun after all. I don't know about that. Thank you, and see you later. Thanks, Bill. I don't know why some of these tutorials are so short that I feel like they could combine a couple of these, hey, but. Hey. Next stage is surely gonna raise the roof. Oh, God. Shut up, Bill. God, I don't know. I feel like I'm playing a game with Sassy Cat right now with all these damn puns. I'm used to her giving them that all out. Hey, where'd my stairs go? One hip. Hip roof. Okay. You need to buy a proper blueprint in the shop. Open the store and buy hip roof blueprint. Got it. Excellent. When you choose it and look at the top of the building, you will notice a hologram. Thanks, Bill. You're right, I do. Use the scroll bar or arrows on the controller to adjust the roof angle. Confirm it when you're done. Great. All you need now are roof beams. Buy some roof beams from the store. Nice. Now your task will be to complete all the necessary roof beams in the hologram. All right, you got it. You can build scaffolding when working at height. Health and safety department is crossing their fingers. Who needs scaffolding? We can do it from down here. We're not short. Might need to buy buy it now. Mineral wool, insulation, and plasterboard will be completed automatically so as not to create another phone clicker. We highly respect your time. <laughs> Just kidding. More very balls. <laughs> Back to the subject. You've already prepared the roof. <laughs> this freaking robot. <laughs> That it? Okay. Can almost get out. Gutters too? Okay. Oh, there's a finishing stage? Gee, how, how in depth does this go? 
A swimming pool? Path? Doors? A trestle? Sounds great. All right. Save your projects, and if you want to, share them with other players. Oh, that's pretty cool. How cool is that? I will guide you through the various options of... If any of you out there do decide to pick up the play taste and you do make your own, head over to the Discord channel. Make sure you share your builds. And while you're down there getting that Discord channel out of the description, make sure you hit that like button down below if you're loving what you're watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well so you can back here for that sweet, shabby content. Yep. Try to hide and show the help panel. Good job. All right. Let's start with a load bearing wall. Okay, bearing wall. Select them from the elements. You can create walls in a line or rectangle by pressing shift or X on the controller. Draw the load bearing walls. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. A partition wall. So we cannot overdo. Remember that there are three plot sizes available in the game. Amazing. Three plot sizes, okay. I think we still need a piece of concrete partition wall. Draw a piece of concrete partition wall. Because why not? Great. We got some windows. How do I do that? Largest windows are terrace windows. Rotate scale. Windows. Oh. That's pretty neat. Good job. So then we got interior doors. doors. These should swing in. Interior doors. I'm, uh, actually, I'm going to assume this is going to be the way in right here. External door should always come out. Anytime, whether the building meets the minimum criteria. Okay. Now let's put the stairs in. Got the stairs. You are free to rotate them, but for the purpose of the tutorial, place them in indicated position. Already done, sir. Nice. Add floor. I think we should add a floor. Done. Add a floor by clicking on the option available next to the eraser. You can tell that this was not made by Americans because they use ground and first floor. Okay. Now, we could also put in a swimming pool and pass. Let's go to the ground floor. I did. Look, we got our pool right here. It's simply a rectangle for which you need enough space to designate it. Draw a swimming pool next to your house. Good job. I think we might need some paths to the swimming pool, don't you think? Let's choose a path. Increase it a little and draw it to the end of the pool. We got it. After you mark out the path, you put paving stones in their place. Great. Let's check that we have everything. Loading. Oh, All elements have been met. Let's save this project. Sure. Call it how you like. <laughs> well, this will be the... Uh... Ooh, I'm in caps lock. Shabby tutorial house, obviously. Great. Now you'll be able to build this on any available level on the medium plot of land. Not bad. This plot is huge. So lots of creative fun ahead. I really can't wait to see some of the builds in this game. You can use the random option. See you later. Random option will probably be how we go because uh I'm not very creative. But yeah, guys, so that was the tutorial right there of Builder Simulator. If you want us to build a house, hit that like button down below. Leave me comments as well. Let me know what you thought of this little first look here. And as usual, if you're new here, do hit that subscribe button as well as you get back for that sweet, shabby content. But all right, guys, as usual, this has been Shabby Do. Hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.